Hi guys! I have quite a number of Amiga computers which I mostly use for programming. So I decided to make a video about how my C cross development setup looks like and how to set everything up. Just as a quick overview, everything will be shown on a Debian GNU Linux based system and I am using VBCC as a C compiler. I am recording this on my Linux Mint desktop, but I tried this on a Raspberry Pi too. Here's a quick outline how my cross development environment looks like. First, we have the host platform, which is the system we are developing on. In this case, this is a Debian GNU Linux system. Second, we have the target platform, which is the system we are developing for. For our case, this is one of the Amiga compatible platforms or an Amiga emulator like UAE. In order to make the code that we write on the host platform run on the target platform, we use a cross compiler which can translate C source code into machine code for the respective target system. I just wanted to briefly talk about why I prefer cross development rather than directly programming on the Amiga. Well, in general, while I think the Amiga is the most fun computer system I have ever used. I also think it's best to develop on a system that maximizes your productivity. Having a great text editor and modern development tools is very important to me and cross development allows me to use the latest tools available on a more ergonomic machine with the nice side effect that it helps me improving my skills for my day job too. In addition, since the failure of a single program can crash the entire operating system, running in an emulator means you can reboot the system in a matter of seconds. The whole code compile test cycle feels a lot more fluent and quicker. I am now going to show how to install the VBCC tools. There are a couple of tools that I assume to be installed on your system already. wget for downloading the software, lasa for extracting .lha archives, and gcc and make for compiling vbcc. Installation is a little involved because there is no automated install script, but it isn't particularly difficult either. Mostly it is about downloading the software, setting the right configuration and making sure that the system can find the compiler tools. I will also explain what some of VBCC's components do. I will now download and install VBCC, the C compiler itself. This step consists of downloading the source code archive as well as the Amiga OS target files and service patches. First we will create two directories in our home directory. Feel free to move this around as you see fit. For demonstration purposes I will always use the home directory as a starting point and we will only work with regular user permissions. VBCC tools will be the directory where we store our downloaded files and build the software. Amiga SDK is the installation directory for our development environment and the Amiga SDK VBCC directory will contain the compiler software. Let's change into the VBCC tools directory and download the compiler sources, target files and service patches. To speed up the process I have prepared a list of the download links on the right. I have also provided these links in this video's description. As with all maintained software, these URLs will likely change in the future as VBCC gets updated.
Now we will extract the source archive and build a compiler. The VBCC makefile expects the existence of a bin directory and since it does not exist in the archive, we will have to create it ourselves. Now we will invoke the build and we will have to specify the target M68K in order to create a C compiler that generates Motorola 68000 code. The warnings printed here can be ignored. In addition, the build process will ask a number of questions. We can simply use the provided defaults and hit enter at each question. The following command will copy the compiler executables in our designated installation directory, since VBCC does not define an installation procedure. Let's extract and copy the Amiga OS target files too. We can now apply the service patches to our installation. Since these are pre-compiled and affect the Amiga OS target, we simply apply them from within our installation directory. We also extract the target configuration files for Unix. This is necessary because the default target configuration file contains paths that are specified using Amiga DOS style paths which won't work on our system. We fixed this now. Finally, we set the VBCC and path variables so VBCC can properly work. We set this now, because the later steps depend on the working VBCC. VASM is a cross-assembler by the same author as VVCC. Installing VASM is optional, but nevertheless there are situations where it is good to have it at hand, so we download and install it now. Since the VASM build process can generate assemblers for a variety of different processes and syntax styles, we have to specify that we want to have an assembler for the Motorola 68K family and use the Motorola syntax module. Now we can copy the executables to our installation directory.
VLink is a linker, which is useful for any non-trivial software project with VBCC. Let's download and install it now. As with VBCC, the build process expects a directory that we need to create ourselves. In this case, this is the object directory. Now that the build was successful, we copy the linker to our installation directory. We have now downloaded all the tools from the VBCC collection and can switch to the SDK directory. Finally, we have to download and extract the NDK from Hage and Partner, which contains the C include header files for Amiga OS development. We also set the include path to an ndk underscore inc variable that we can later reference when compiling our projects. In order to test the installation, I will now compile and run a small test program that opens an intuition window on the workbench screen. In my editor, I have the C program which opens the intuition window. Below is the FSUAE configuration file that mounts our development directory SimpleWin as a UAE hard drive. This has the advantage that I can instantly execute the program in the emulator after I compiled it on the host machine. I will now compile the program. I am calling VBCC with the options to compile for OS 1.3 and automatic opening and closing of the used Amiga libraries. I also provided the path to the Amiga NDK include files. The final program will be created under the name OpenWin. As you see the compilation was successful. Now let's switch to FS UAE and execute the program. That looks like it worked. Now that we have successfully installed our cross-development system, we have reached the end of the video. In some of my later videos, I might go into detail about specific aspects of Amiga development. Happy hacking!